The world's number one Yasuo P. Zhang has a new build he's been testing um, that revolves around Triforce. Blade of the Wrong King, he doesn't go crit early, okay? Um, as opposed to the old builds where you go shield bow, i.e. full crit. This reminds me of that season 5, season 6 Triforce static Shiv Yasuo that utilizes just weaving through the waves, auto attacking, being a nuisance um, and dueling them down rather than the upfront burst you got from that crit. So let's jump onto the rift, break it down. He's got like 65% win rate on his main at 1k LP. His smurf is 8 83% win rate. Like, this guy's just cracked, guys. Jump to the Rift, break it down. He's going to make some plays. Let's enjoy it. Jumping onto the Rift, guys. He's been running this mid and top. Mainly top lane, a lot of the Yasuo games, actually. He's been enjoying some of these matchups um, where you're able to play into things like, let's say, the Aatrox. You can play into the Gangplank. You can play super aggressive dual style with the Yasuo Yone. Um, kind of like that Zookill does in EU West, and he's having great success with it. Gets level 2 spike, Q goes wide, make sure to run that lethal tempo by the way, and this is why Yasuo top, a lot of the times is better than Yasuo mid guys, just because of how stretched out the lane is, you're able to look for those all-ins, and there's so much more room to maneuver in these waves. Now, I used to play a little bit of Yasuo, believe it or not, in Season 6, Season 5, we went Triforce with Static Shiv. And it was just the most disgusting Yasuo style because you were so fast through waves. You had so much attack speed. The static shift was insane because you were able to clear the waves through. Uh, but now you go Blade of the Rune King into Triforce. With a little bit of crit later on, of course, you're going to be getting that zeal. Um, then you can top it off if you'd like. With some more dueling items like uh, Mortal Reminder. Looking super aggressive here. If you want, guys, you're playing Yasuo mid to like just... You can run in the Ignite, you don't need Teleport. Zang, of course, plays in Challenger. Has he even missed? He's missed... Oh my god, I just jinxed it. I was about to say, has he missed a CS? He just missed the first one. Able to get out here. And I don't know why he doesn't like... I think it's mainly... Like, I don't know if there's any mathematicians in chat or, like, Albert Einstein, but... He's seeming to pivot away from the IE, the crit. Because you go... I feel so bad for this... <laughs> I feel so bad for this Aatrox. Um, because he's not going the crit early, he goes Blade of the Ruin King. It just feels, I think, to him, it feels kind of crappy in the mid game to then start going straight for the crit. It's going to take you so long to get Shield Bow into IE. So he'd rather just go for the early upfront spike you get from the Triforce. He's even been doing some builds where he goes uh, Frostfire Gauntlet. Very tanky. Just gets that all in. He's in. Gets the auto. You can see the lethal tempo range. Super important. He could look for like a Q Flash E here. Q goes wide. And I don't know if you're getting more damage in the... I, I'm, you have to be getting more damage in the mid game, whilst full crit Yasuo definitely would scale better, right? But he, he's not really looking to scale, it just seems like he wants that Bladed Rune King, which is an insane spike. Triforce gets you very beefy, very mobile, and you take over the game. Go into a Mortal Reminder with some um, healing reduction, and then yes, you can pivot towards crit later on. Or you can just go for a full tanky build, which we've seen him do, um, where he just goes armor. Gets so bloody beefy with, I've seen him run Randuin's. As I said, the Frostfire Gauntlet, the Barmies. He was doing the... Of course, the Sunfire build was there for a while now, but it did get nerfed. As we'll head back to base, we have enough for the Zerker Greaves. Always the Zerker Greaves to start, guys. When you're playing on this Yasuo, it would be a little bit awkward if you did buy it, but there you go. It does get it. Axe Speed Clutch. You gotta move through the waves. Much faster. This matchup is going to be fun as hell. It's all about kiting. Aatrox just gets hard countered by kiting, so like... <laughs> kind of feel bad for the guy as we're leaning towards the level 6 all-in. We have an extended lane. 6 off 2 more creeps. Gets the knock-up. Doesn't have ult yet. Aatrox burning everything. We move through. And if this guy gets... This guy gets queued, he's dead as we get both creeps. Rek'Sai looking for the knock-up. Could get the flash. Doesn't get it. They do want the dive. Mr. the Q. There's an EU West Yasuo yeah, so the name at the moment in top 3, top 5 called Toast. People have been telling me he's better than P. Zhang. 
I haven't done a review on him, but he seems pretty high elo. Is there anyone that's going to be better than Pizang Yasuo? I doubt it. Whenever someone tells me that there is, I... I've watched hundreds of Pizang VODs. Like, I don't know if I'm biased or just... This guy doesn't seem to make mistakes. Most Yasuo players, yes, they can just play clean. They can they can make the pop-off montage plays. Pizang is so consistent without making dumb mistakes, dumb errors, and just takes over the games. Like, he rarely puts a, a input or a click wrong. And I'd love to see him... I'd love to see him a lot of these one-tricks try and make the adjustment to pro play. Beifang actually had his pro play debut last night. He's playing in the Asia Star Qualify Cup um, with some other... kind of like a, It's kind of like Challenger Academy teams in Korea and China. Um, some of the Southeast Asian teams. And he absolutely popped off. Of course, did he get Kiana? Absolutely not. They permabend Kiana. As with the ultimate, looking for the all-in. Aatrox might have to blow the ult. He goes wide. Chunk, chunk, chunk. Q. Dodge out. Comes the Viego. Can we get the 1v2? Aatrox ults. Q. Kiting, kiting. No way. No way. Flashes. Gets one. <laughs> this is why I love watching this guy. Every game it's like this. Just making these stupid plays where it's just picture perfect. It's almost like the enemy team is paid actors and they just come in into the Tarantino movie. And just int. Shotguns him in the face. That was crazy, man. He's going to be so jacked off of this. 10 CS per minute. Gets the early zeal here for a little bit of crit. That will be turned into a mortal reminder later. Um, he does this often just to get a little bit more of that crit in the early game. And then he'll pivot. You don't need to rush the blade of Rune King. He, can't, he doesn't have enough for the blade. So obviously he can only get components. So it's better to get uh, Vamp. Plus the zeal, and he'll sit on that for a long time, a lot of the games. Wave's good, he could just opt to perma-freeze this. And deny every single CS. I don't care if you're bronze three guys. You need to be learning this wave management to absolutely annihilate your opponent. I love these all ins. We could see a dive. Viego Lux are both here. Now we're gonna try and get a one v three. I think I don't think this is this one v three is gonna be possible. He does end up going down to Viego. Liana is late, and we. Drop down. Bit of a shame. Obviously, enemy team putting some work into the top lane there, but. I don't think they're going to contest this, right? I don't think they want to give it. Rek'Sai goes in, absolutely ints it. He's going to have to flash or die, I think. Pizang makes his way in. He has a minute till the teleport. Rex, I just went for the stupidest play. Double kill over to the Lux support. Enemy Lux is 5 0. Oi! Thank you very much. Big top lane wave juicing up. We'll go grab that. This game looking a little bit doomed. Doesn't have any vision out. So risky in the Viego. Yeah. Quite. Go 
Go grab the Krugs, Bow Special. When in doubt, can't shove, get the Krugs. And I'm hoping we see some Yasuo at Worlds. Dino Yasuo was a mean combo there for a second for teams like G2, like Dam1. But at the moment, not Dino kind of jungle got nerfed, so not many people are playing it. Obviously, Yasuo is only good when you have a knockup in your team. Like, Pizang still makes it work. He can blind pick Yasuo with no knockups, but. If he has somebody like a Gragas, Alistar, Diana, just stuff like this makes your life so much easier. And I mean, for me, I'm high elo, right? I don't know why I said that, just bragging, but I can't draw above masters, which means I can't synergize. If you're low elo, find some bloody friends, man. Go and, go, let me teach you how to make some friends. Go and make some friends with a goddamn jungler or somebody that plays a knock-up champion. It doesn't matter what you are. Like some type of synergy with your champion that you play, that you main. You all should have a main. We have established the best way to climb is have a main. One champion that you have mastered. With every extra, like, I don't know, 20k mastery points, your win rate goes up like, I don't know, 3% or something. I've just made that stat out of my ass, but it's true. Learn the ins and outs of the champion. Then... You can, I'm sure there's, there's sites where you can go and see the win rates of champions with synergies with your champion. You can literally just go and just stalk some guy. If you play, if you play Tarek, go find a Kindred main that you can synergize with the ultimate. If you play Twisted Fate, go and find a Nocturne main that you can synergize with and you can just rule the map. Like, just things like that, guys. As we have 140 CS at 13 minutes. A little bit of Chobi going on, TP. Available, Blade of the Rune King is going to be bought in the base. Mid lane, Blade of the Rune King completed. And this is where we pivot into the Triforce, guys. He really wants this, this Lux. Going to go in. No charge for Shelly. And I contest the dragon. I don't... Enemy team have, what, three, they have a seven kill lead. However, they're terrified of this Yasuo in the fights. Jaeger wants to look for a steal. Lux, jeez, man, she's playing well. I think we just go and eat the top lane farm. No one wants to eat the crab. Yasuo might be dead here. Sorry, Aatrox might be dead here. The Blade of Rune King slow with the Ari. Oh. Report. Oh. He becomes through. We have no damage. We want the tower and then to all in. Tower down. Now all in. These the autos with the blade, the Rune King man. Pizang is the best at like canceling auto animations. You, you you don't really see him just sit there and auto. He's canceling automations, queuing, moving. Yeah, every every auto attack there's an, another import straight afterwards. 60 farm lead, here we go. Someone coming through, but he's not gonna risk it. Gets the sheen. And of course giving you extra base attack damage after a spell, I believe. God, his CS is so juiced to this game, and he makes it look that easy. Rumble!
So try and flank flank on the mid lane fight. I don't know if it's worth it. Level 13 here. Finds two. Wait. <laughs> you say holy shit. Oh god. He's able to make his way out there. I thought he was doomed. Able to distract them. Leona looking for the engage. Huge MF fault. Big delicious guns of hers. Perfect little tunnel as we move in. Q doesn't land. Damn, we really want these knockups as Viego looks for the flank. Rexai ults in, gets the kill onto the Jin. And have you ever seen a more patient play in your life? So he kind of, he's like, his mindset is hovering around. If there's anything free and he lands a Q, he's taking it. But if not, he's not suiciding. For me there, I just, I flash in, bro, for some reason. I EQ flash like an idiot, probably go one for one. Ruin all my tempo, blow my sums, and get nothing. He's gonna keep farming. He's gonna carry the. He's gonna carry the shit out of the late game. Let's be honest. Doesn't even overextend for the tower here. He'll head back. How much does Triforce cost? Twenty two hundred from here. Two hundred farm at seventeen. Probably some of the best CS I've ever seen. Shout out Froggin in season four or something. He had like three hundred CS at twenty minutes on Anivia, but it doesn't count. It doesn't count. Do we be four twenty at twenty? Jesus, I almost forgot. CS hack. There's one thing that all the rank players, rank one players, have in common. Guess what it is? It's CS. It's honestly CS. You almost never see high elo laners climb with no CS unless you're like a perma roaming pi- Careful there, son. Like it does just seem like to be the answer, doesn't it? Perma roaming is fun and cool, but it's not consistent. CS is the most consistent thing you can get gold from, so... I know it sucks to say, like me, I miss every second CS. It's, it's so annoying, but... It appears as though it works. Fine, I admit it. Trovi, rank one. Um, who's the rank one in NA recently? Cat Evolved actually has really good CS. He does. The thing about Cat. Ooh, top lane TP comes through. Enemy team trying to look for the flank. Does he get it? Oh, yeah! Cat Evolved actually has really good CS on Katarina. It's not as though he just perma roams. He actually farms like seven, eight per minute on average. It's crazy for a cat. Bro, 230 CS at 19. We might be 250 at 20 here. Don't fight, don't fight, don't fight. You see him constantly proccing the sheen to get extra damage? Can't help. Aatrox flash. Rexile will be able to finish off. Ari dies mid for some reason. Rumble ult comes through. And we are probably going to go down here. Ult? No way he lives. He's sitting on 4k gold. Jin comes through, finishes him off, gets enough creep, so 245 at 20 minutes, 4,000 in the base. We're going to be able to complete the Triforce. We have 100 CS lead at 20 minutes. More than that. 120 to 240. It's 120 CS lead. I'm kind of nervous they're going to start the Nash. Triforce, Mortar, or Miner could buy here, I think. Let's see, Triforce. Hold on, Nash. Mortar or Miner stopwatch, probably best. He's looking at how much uh, AP they have. Kindle Gym? How come? So he's not even trying to pivot towards crit. 
Like, how would you even do it anyway? Because for, for IE, don't you need 65%? Things come out for the Nash. This is going to be the fight. Neona goes in. Q doesn't land. And they're going to turn back into the Nash. Luxalt comes through. This is so risky. If they die here, the... Look at the Viego trying it. Leona probably going to go down here. Viego looking for the reset. Q goes through. Baron has been stolen. P Zhang trying to get onto the back line. Hits the ultimate. Gets... Oh, no. It's a disaster. He almost had that. He almost had that. And Lux cleans them off. The ace plus Baron stolen. Oof. That's a little bit of a tilter. I really thought he was going to do something there. It seemed likely. It seemed likely, but... Just couldn't do it. Stealing Nash like that is so demoralizing to begin the fight. Like, at that point, you're just like, FF, go next. Fortunately enough, P. Zhang, this guy has a very good mental. Oh, there is three ping, Jesus Christ. Three ping Yasuo. I think he's got to try and pressure a little bit more here in the side instead of the, the team fight just doesn't seem to be working. I'm not going to risk the overextension. They're doing final dragons. He is going to go a randuance. I guess the Jin Brits. Does Randuin crit? I, don't, I think it only works against basic attacks. Does less crits, or is it like Aatrox scented Q? I don't. I don't really know. Okay, the macro here is sack bot lane inhib. Pressure top mid. Because Jin and Rumble don't shove that fast. Aatrox kills Leona. Level sixteen here for the P Zhang, and he's gonna try and. Hover behind. Not able to find anything, however. What a shame. Checking to see if the Aatrox overextends. Picks his head out. Hello, anybody home? Nope. What, dra what number dragon is that? Second for them. That's fine. Find somebody. Has the ultimate. Didn't ult the knockup, I think. Rumble ultimate comes down. Rek'Sai is doomed. His fate is sealed. This is such an awkward mid game for him. World's most patient player. He kind of wants to stay. He does. That's key. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, Aatrox, that's a little bit aggressive for you. Now, the only reason logistically would be that he has teammates around, which he does. He's saying if he went for the all-in here, afraid he gets caught, he's going to instead hit the Randuins. Such a strange build, don't you think? Yeah, 
I want to see it in action. Look for like a 1v2, 1v3, and then give it like a, a like he still does a shit ton of damage, right? But it's just not quite as much, I think, as the crit Yasuo. But I guess the utility it offers is more. Really wants to look for something. Aatrox greeting. Moves in, steals away. Auto, auto, auto. And he landed, not going to all in it. Q doesn't land. But we do steal the big Krug, and that's all that matters in life. Good pick, good pick, good pick. What's the game ending macro? We we just we have to kill the Jin, but I think the Jin has Galfor, so it's really hard to try and CC him, especially for the Rek'Sai. As we do get the flash knock up, Aatrox has absolutely nothing. We're gonna take him out. When Wall moves through, we drop so low, and the Jin crit. It's too much. You can't. You can't, you, you can't block that. Good pick by the Rex, right? No GA on the Viego for next fight. And the Rumble dead. EQ, Ari. Oh, that was really badly played. Thirty-three, thirty mid. Sorry. What's the last item? What's he feeling? He does have TP in ten seconds. I don't think they're going to be able to contest the Baron, but maybe stragglers. Stopwatch. Looks like it's going to be the GA to be, to, to to finish. It's a, it's a little bit of a suspicious build considering how much AP, how much magic damage they're doing with Rumble Lux, and Lux is full AP. Jin probably still doing the chunk of it, but it's not that much of a DPS, huh? Reversed. Still, 3k health hit. Can't find a f can't find anything this game, man. That makes him playing pretty well. Yet again, collapsed on. He had nice by Rexai. Oh, can't find the Aatrox. Enemy Jin picks up Leona. Three hundred and fifty farm here. We're heading back. We do have teleport. Is if the Rexai can stay around, he can teleport in on the Jin. Let's see. Could TP. He wants to try and TP on that mid lane wave. Rexai hovering. Doesn't use it. He holds. To try and get that red buff, but enemy team definitely have cooldown on it. This could be good. This is so greedy. This is so greedy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He does so much damage. We're end game now. Almost full build.
And scaling with Rek'Sai Ari is always just an impossible task, if I'm, if I'm honest. Can split push because we have the teleport. However, these fights are so fast because you have the Jin, you have the Rumble that by the time you teleport in, a lot of time the fight's already over. Pick up the Gromp, try and take some Wolves. And this is just going to come down to one team fight in the mid game here. Or late game, I guess. Viego pick, not enough damage though. He's saying teleport. He, he, he has teleport, man. He's basing, but it's so slow. Big MF ult. Teleports in on the cannon. Has enough for the GA. Gets it. Let's see how he fights this. They get the Aatrox. He wants to make his way through the wave. Not able to get anything onto the Jin there. He wants to play aggro, but no flash. Means one CC, and he's probably going to die. Look at the rumble hovering. I'd love to hear your feedback, guys, on the Triforce tank kind of bruiser Yasuo setup. Do you think it's better than the crit build? Do you think maybe it's situational on the comp? What do you reckon? It definitely doesn't do as much damage, but it just seems maybe you can find more consistency with it by being able to be a lot beefier and having a little bit more speed around the edges of the team fights. I don't know. That's Elixir. We're full build now, baby. I want to see this bad boy in action. 380 CS at 33 minutes. Just Yasuo thinks. Just Chovy thinks. Just Pizang thinks. And just mid beast thinks. Oh. Good pick, good pick, good pick. Good pick, good pick, good pick. Let's see. I want to see how much damage you have. Randomance. Gets it. Gets the ultimate. Just slowly shredding him down. Kind of seems hard for anybody to escape it. He moves in. Leona gets a kill, but... Like, you don't have any burst, but... You can't escape him, and you can't kill him. As Yasuo ultimate late game is seriously zero seconds. <laughs> this is for Hextech Soul. This would be so massive if they're able to get it. No Rumble, no Aatrox for the setup. This could be really game changing. Let's see if they get it. Flash on GA for the Jin and the Viego. So hard to know who to focus when the enemy team has GAs. Um, like you could put all your resources in killing the Viego and the Jin, and then just have GA. Oh, wait, and that rand. So he puts the randuins on them, and they can't move. Forces the flash. Windmall was a bit how you going, but it's all right. Fox Salt comes through. Good for the dragon setup. Although I don't even know what 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 what's Lux Alt cooldown these days. Probably pretty low. They're going to do a trade. Baron for Soul. Pizang teams opts to coin flip the Nash rather than taking Soul. Lux. Jaeger gets the Baron, and we're zoned from this fight. It's really hard to make our way in. Rumble ult comes through. As we move in, Windwall comes through. Beautiful. Able to pick up four of them as he Q flashes in, looking to find the Lux. And this actually is going to be a team fight win and a game ender down mid. Pizang picks up his sixth kill. 400 CS here at 35, but it's a weird build. I, I, I really don't know if I want to call it OP or anything like that, but... He's played like 10 plus games of it by now, so he must actually be really enjoying it, but that's going to end the game today. That's a long one, gentlemen. Hopefully you enjoyed it. P-Zang, it's like a Triforce old school Yasuo setup.
Um, but until next time, boys, love you all. I'll see you on the next video, alright? Peace.